Hello peeps and welcome back to Agrarian Skies, episode 19. Um, another B episode. Yay, everyone loves B episodes. Um, in the meantime, while we were while I was processing audio from the last episode, I went ahead and I hooked all of the redstone furnaces for our dough processing straight up to the reactor. I have the reactor currently disabled. <clears throat> or not the reactor. I have the um mining rig over here currently disabled until we figure out a better way to throttle this um as nice as it is to have that much power coming through i'm thinking of putting a redstone energy cell on the way to throttle it to a maximum of 2k <clears throat> because we're just we're burning too much power into those things you know it's not allowing us the power to fill everything else. Uh, the reactor's running stable. I'm going to head out here and check my trees again. <clears throat> are you doing an infusion? Yes, I am. What are you infusing? Brain in a jar. Ah. Is that a simple ritual? Uh, he's not doing a brain in a jar, he's doing a dick in the about. box. <laughs> dick in the box. Uh, here's another desert acacia sapling. I don't know where that came from. It's gone now. Okay. My resident, uh, my redstone energy cell over here is nice and full. Um, Dragon has actually been over here making crap loads of mutagen when I wasn't looking. So I have like 64 buckets and change of mutagen, plus what's in the tank. Um... You know what? I am going to take this redstone energy cell here, and I'm going to put this in the line as a throttle so that we can get the nether quarry, or the uh, laser, the mining laser, so we can get hey, that dagger. thing running again. What's up? Uh, you can turn in brains. Okay. Take in from that side, put out to that side. Yeah, that should do it. Um... You get another green heart canister, too. Oh, we can get another green heart canister? Nice. That <laughs> reward okay, this I thing got, is uh... not working. Oh, I forgot Ow, to... Fuck. I hurt myself! I hurt forgot myself. to re-enable this. <laughs> there. That should work. Yeah, I got four slimy saplings, four blood saplings, and 16 of the emerin sapling. By the way, uh, what do you want us to take from the Moving Essentia quest? Moving Essentia, yeah, what do you want us to take? Probably the Golem Animation course? Yeah, if you can. Because Entropy Shards we have shit tons of, and Nitor is easy enough to make. Here, Dragon. I got a uh, Potion Maker's quest uh, uh, reward. I got Dragon, a whole bunch of fish. Up on the ground for you. I got a whole yeah, bunch I of got... Mariculture fish. I got a brewing stand, magma cream, spider eyes, and yeah. Ooh, glistening. Your disassembly oh, tables jerky. have... And bacon jerky! Nice. Your disassembly tables have stuff waiting for you. Yeah, they usually do. Um, And I have another great wood sapling somehow. I'm just uh, going to put it in the ME system. The one quest gave you another one. Oh, okay. Um, And then I also have brains... 115 lives remaining. Holy crap. Yeah, we're not short on lives. That's for Lives sure. OP. And then I got two more magnum torches. Magnum, magnum torches? Are they magnum sized? A magnum yeah. torch prevents all mobs from spawning within 64 blocks of where the torch is placed. Great for stalling the mob trap if we need to go. Yeah, if we ever want to disable the mob trap. Oh, by the way, I added armor to the output for the trash can. So it's going to automatically output armor now. Since we're not smelting it, it's just we're just we've just been push, we've just been pitching it off the edge. So there's no point in having it. Not like we're hurting for other stuff. So uh, put these tanks away. Put that sound muffler away. These grafters, I think they're still affected by that bug where if you try to break a leaf with a zero durability grafter, it doesn't work right. So I've just been pitching the zero durability ones if I notice. Why um, you combine them? <clears throat> yeah. 
because if you combine them, it does nothing. Oh, right. <laughs> I tried that. Okay, bees and trees. For the quest alviaries, I need to make... We already have a frame housing, because we got that as a reward. We already have an alviary. We got that as a reward. I need to make an alviary fan, an alviary heater, and alviary lighting. The fan takes a gold electron tube. The heater takes two gold electron tubes. And the lighting, if I find it, takes a gold electron tube. Long and short of it is, we need a thermionic fabricator. Which, thankfully, is very easy to make. How do we not have any chests in this system? Uh, we used them all? How? We had over a hundred in here because I derped and made a couple of stacks of them. Bagger, let me know when you're done with DMing. I'm done. With the crafter, anyway. I just need to get some gold. Oh, you lost your sacrificial orb? I have no idea where the stupid things have gone. I can't find any of huh. them. Huh. Like, any of them. I can't find any. Well, that's not all. good. None. I'm actually going to pop this on the back of here and suck power in from that. Yeah, suck it. I, uh... I mean, hi, Dagger. Uh, I always knew you were that way. <laughs> Fuck Put off. some glass in there. We'll get some molten glass. We'll just click out, like, 16 of these things. That'll hold us for a long time. Okay. These are not phantom blocks. You actually do have to take them back. You're not chewing on my headset cable, are you? No, we're not going to chew on my headset cable. Kick its ass. You need to teach that pussy a lesson. Yeah, I need to teach them all a lesson. Beat that pussy. Okay, so. Alviary lighting. Easy enough. Alviary fan. Um, easy enough. Alviary heater, also easy enough. And that is everything we need to complete that quest. So we will manual submit and claim a reward. Go ahead and take the reward bag. Alviary blocks are pretty easy to make. And I'm not using alviaries anyway. Hey, you knock it off. Yeah, I'm not using the alviaries anyway. I'm using industrial apiaries, so don't bother taking alviary stuff. I got a book with repair one. One Do of you these want days, to? we need to actually make the disenchanter. Um, any sort of bees or honeycombs, we can just put over towards the bee land in my indexer, which, if I saw right, the next quest I'm going to do is going to get me another indexer. Um, can I borrow your guys' um, heart canisters? I put mine in the ME system. Or heart canisters? Oh, the heart canisters? Why? Blood magic requires lots of hearts. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Are you trying to do the quest to get the yeah. big... Okay. Yeah, trying to get the uh, next tier orb. Yeah, come out to B land and I'll give you mine. Here. You'll want this, this. And oh. I got this? you 16 oh, I cinder. Have potion. I got 16 cinder pearls and 16 shimmer leaves. You know what? Don't cinder pearls turn into blaze yeah. powder? I got a ring. If you plant them and break them. Yeah, cinder pearls turn into blaze powder if you break them. So that gives us an unconventional source of blaze powder. Uh, you can make those, too. Oh, you can make them? Yeah, well, that gives us a somewhat renewable source, I guess. They're not that hard to make, either. Nice. Work Harder wants us to make an 
an untreated frame, an impregnated frame, and a soul frame. Well, the untreated frame is just sticks around string. Big deal. The impregnated frame is impregnated sticks around a string, which requires you to put seed oil into some wood. The soul frame is created by extra bees. It's an impregnated frame and soul sand. So basically, long and short of it is we need two impregnated frames to continue. That means I need to go out here, and I need to get a handful of wood and a piece of soul sand. A stack should be plenty. One piece of soul sand. A couple string. And I need to go break the carpenter. Because I gotta get the uh, liquid that's in it, the water that's in it right now, I gotta get that out. Yeah. Um, Dagger, can I borrow those canisters? Uh, yeah. If I switch this to input mode, will it pull this stuff back out? No, of course not. Of course it couldn't be that easy. Put the carpenter back down. And we're going to put in... The recipe for the impregnated sticks. We need eight impregnated sticks, which means we need to do eight combinations, which means we need only one bucket of seed oil to do this. Turns out we got absolutely no seed oil. But I got chestnuts. And I got walnuts. So... We'll just get five chestnuts. That's enough to get a bucket of seed oil. That's sad, isn't it? Come over here to the squeezer, which is currently full of honey. I guess? Okay, whatever. I've been working on getting honey, so just take whatever out you want. That's fine. Someone's been working on it anyway. Because I've sure been ignoring it. There we go. And I think I just burned too much LP. You said it takes 40,000? Yeah, 40,000. I actually want to pump just a little bit more honey through this squeezer. I want to complete one more can. So we're not wasting any. Because I'm pretty sure one of these quests is going to want us to put a ridiculous amount of honey into this thing. There we go. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to get it's as empty. many as I can, because one capsule is a bucket, so. Yeah, and it's going to want what? Isn't it 150 buckets? No, 100 buckets. So we just wait for the squeezer to finish with these chestnuts. In the meantime, let's take a look at this. We're at 82% for the sewage quest. Ow! We really probably should start the milk and the soup quest too, because it's going to take forever. Uh, let's see here. Bees and trees. Could be working on genetic control while this works, but I have a feeling genetic control is going to want me to do something else. So I'm just going to wait for the squeezer to finish up here. It's on the last chestnut anyway. feel kind of silly for making all of these frames that I'm never going to use. Okay, and there's a little bit of seal oil left in the squeezer. Um, just going to leave it in there for now. Never know what we might need it for. 
put the seed oil capsule in there. It's going to start cranking out some impregnated sticks. There's enough to make one frame. So By much now, blood does this thing need? A lot. I sacrificed about a hundred chickens to get it. Actually, I made a couple more sticks than I needed, but that's okay. That's going to get us now, if two impregnated frames. If this thing doesn't get enough blood, will it cancel the thing? Yes. That's why when I did it, I filled the altar completely, spawned about 100 chickens in there, and then I sacrificed the chickens and burned myself while it was running. Yeah, I just burned myself while it was running with two full potions of instant health four with regeneration running, and I still apparently didn't have enough. And we need an untreated frame. Did it... Yeah, did you lose all the progress? Yep, lost all the uh, gray swirlies and it just stopped altogether. Oh, yeah, if you're getting the gray swirlies, that means that... Gray swirly means you're losing progress. Gray swirlies... Gray swirly is the death blow. using a lot of um, blood faster than I could put it in. Yeah, Ender and Monastic Princesses, and then don't take the Indexer since we already have one. Take one of the reward bags. Uh, work harder is done under bees and trees. I'm taking reward bag two. Nah. And what? Yeah, you go first. Uh, I haven't turned in yet. I'm trying to clear my inventory. And I just got sixteen of each hive. Again? Oh, I got that one early. We have so many frickin' hives, I don't know what we're gonna, what we're ever going to do with them all. Mm -hmm. Build out of them. <laughs> um, I got 14 purple heart, or 64 purple heart, 64 rosewood, and 64 amaranth wood. So I got one of those Morvi decor rewards. Is Morvi, like, finished for troll or something? Because it sure feels like it. Okay, next is genetic control. Got nine minutes of flight left, so I'm good. Man, my frame rate is just dying when I come over this way. I'm well, we got a lot of mariculture. Oh god, you're doing mariculture? I'm getting genetic stuff ready for it. sampler and genetic imprinter. So you can just make chicken spawn eggs with arrows, right? Yes. Genetic imprinter is going to take four bronze gears, a genetics processor, two of the B receptacles, and a power module. So let's do the processor. Power module is going to take four gears, so we need eight gears. Stop it. A uh, spray bottle is like the handiest frickin' thing to have right now with all the frickin' cats. Ran out of bronze in the system, so I gotta make some more. That should be enough. Put it in this way then. Um, somebody dropped their bees over here. I'm just putting them in the system for the moment. I'll move them later, if I remember. Right. I'm just going to make a shit ton of these gears. We're going to uh, need where's them. Where's that sacrificial knife? Um, probably in one of the chests around here. It's not in the system, I don't think. Power module. And then the sampler is going to take a power module, too. So, make two of those. 
Sampler is also going to take another processor. So make another one of those. Need two B receptacles for that and one for that. So we need three B receptacles, which means we need three golden pressure plates. I'm not quite too sure where you put it. Uh, just make another one then. It's just, you just infuse a iron sword. It's not, not a big deal. Do you like me? <laughs> no. I caught myself. There's the genetic imprinter. There's the genetic sampler. This is basically the Gendistry version of the machines that I just made for extra bees. The genetic sampler allows you to pull genes out of a bee. The genetic imprinter allows you to imprint genes into a bee. Now, these use more power than extra bees, but these don't require any sort of, uh, these require less, if, if any, bee DNA. The extra bees ones use less power, but require liquid DNA. For genetic modification, I'm planning on using extra bees. For mutation, I'm using Gendistry. Manually submit this, and now we do lab implements. We need a blank gene sample, a genetic template, genetic labware, and empty serum. Hey, dragon, your tree grew. So the blank gene sample requires just tin around a piece of redstone. That's easy. Hey. The genetic template is pretty much the same thing with a diamond and some more redstone. The labware, huh? What? <laughs> Turn around when you've got a minute. That's the labware. What? Oh, silver leaf tree. Nice. Kind of a stubby one. That's what she said. But it's a silver leaf tree. We just got to make sure we get saplings from it. And then, well, use crooks. Use a crook on the leaves. I think it works even with those. Um, we need the empty serum. Which, is it the same one as extra bees? Can't be. Yeah, I think it's the same one as extra bees. Well, I'll just make another one then. Uh, manually submit. Yep, that was it. So we can claim a reward. This is going to get us another indexer. This is part of the reason why I told you not to take the indexer from the last one. It's also going to get us three Valiant drones and three Valiant princesses. This is that one I was saying earlier where you get Valiant as a reward. And then I'm going to take reward bag number two. Note block. Nope. Another. Uh... Oh, a blacksmith anvil. Nice. Hey, Wait, what? Wasn't done with that. An unworked gold pearl bracelet? I'm going to leave that to you, Kozak. That's all you, bro. I got so the index in there. Oh, I got an epic reward bag. Ah, uh, the, 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 oh, my God. Uh, hey, dragon. Oh, yeah, I'll need these. Uh, how many different types did you get? That many. <laughs> yeah, it takes 100 hits to to do, I think, a ring, and I don't know how many for the necklace. Okay, industrial upgrades. This wants me to start making a bunch of the upgrades. So, we need a lifespan upgrade. Dagger! Hold on. I made you a present. A lifespan upgrade is... We're going to need a bunch of these upgrade frames, so I'm just going to make, like, a bunch of them. Are you a gold pearl bracelet made with string. Nice. Thank you. Now, how does this work? Can you actually equip this? I don't know. doesn't look like it. 
made it. I think you should read the book that you get from Miraculture. Uh, read? What is this read you're talking I about? I another gaff! It's being pulled away! Uh, I need some glass. That gets a lifespan upgrade. When you install this thing, you can install a maximum of four. It increases the energy consumption of the industrial apiary by 5%, but it reduces the bee's lifespan by 33%. It is very good if you want bees to die fast for breeding or making drones. That said, oblivion frames are faster for making drones, and the mutatron is a better way to get your breeding done. Don't you dare. Go ahead and hiss at me. I'll come over there with a soda bottle and beat you in the head. Uh, black pearl ring made with gold. I'm going to put this stuff away for the moment. I have no idea what they do. I think you I can enchant can. them. Maybe. Need a production upgrade. The production upgrade is a bronze gear, some bronze ingots, royal jelly, and some sugar. This increases energy consumption 20% and increases production 20%. Maximum of 8. So install a bunch of these and your bees will produce fast as hell. We need a heater upgrade. <laughs> I the heater the upgrade is another rack, a climate control module, which is a gear and some redstone and some other stuff. Uh, I need some netherrack. I think I have some in here. I temporarily turned this into a netherrack producing machine instead of a city of producing machine. The heater upgrade increases the temperature by 25% and increases the energy consumption. That's not something that we will ever use because it's not necessary because there's better stuff. Dryer upgrade and a desert emulation upgrade. So we need the dryer which is sand, upgrade frame, another one of these climate control modules. This thing, oh, apparently I need some more upgrade frames. You know what, I'm just going to make a ton of them because we're going to need them. Dryer upgrade. Reduces the humidity 25%, energy consumption 5%. Again, it's not something we'll probably ever use. Because you can use emulation upgrades. What these do is when you put them in a machine, they increase the energy consumption by 20%, but they override the biome to make the bees think that they're in a biome other than the one that they're in. With this, you can make the bees that are in a certain apiary believe they are in a desert instead of in a plains, for example. These things are very useful because you can put the you can put a hell thing in and make the bees think they're in a hell biome. So you can get sinisters to work without having to do a whole bunch of selective breeding or gene imprinting. Really useful. And that's going to complete our quest. So we can claim a reward that gets us some modest half a heart and a reward bag. The reward bag for me is a greater and I got more of these stupid purple stairs. I swear that's the third time I've gotten that reward. You're only supposed to get it twice. Gotta repair one book. Next is tree breeding. Tree breeding requires spectacles, industrial grafter, a mutatron, an alveary sieve, and a sieve upgrade. I want damn. The alveary sieve, I think this is going to require, yep, this requires woven silk, which requires us to get silk wisps, which we don't have yet because I haven't done any jungle bee, uh, jungle bee breeding. So right now we're stymied on this part of the quest. I can't complete this yet. But we got a bunch of stuff done. Let's take a look under your wizard, Steve. We've completed anything else here? Not yet. Oh, wow. I want you to make a lot of golems. Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. For the hoarding, 
Uh, we can do digital storage. Let's do that. ME assembler containment wall. The ME assembler containment wall is pretty easy. It's just iron, gold, some other stuff. Done and done. The pattern encoder. is a conversion matrix, easy enough to get, crafting table, oh. and some iron. There's our pattern encoder. Good to go. I don't know what that just did, but... The blank pattern glowstone, certus quartz, glass, done. Um... A mirror with unbreaking one. I just enchant. I found out what the pearls and stuff are for. They increase the level of enchanting on mirrors. Oh. Huh. But I don't know what, the, but it enchanted. But uh, it mirrors. So wait. I enchant. I used the mirror, to, and then I enchanted the mirror. You can also put. Uh, I think junk in it too. So yeah, did like you hammers. take the bracelet and the ring that you gave me earlier back? Yes. Oh, cool. That's what that does. Yeah, it allows you portable enchanting, I guess you could say. Um, did I already get the blank pattern? I don't know. We'll want them eventually anyway, so. Um, the heat vent. The heat vent is actually probably the most expensive part of making one of these systems. Or wait, no, it's just iron bars. Never mind. I think the containment wall is what I was thinking of. There's a heat vent. A pattern provider. which requires two conversion matrices. It also requires a storage cell, and it requires an advanced processor, which means I'll have to actually cook one because we don't have any advanced processors ready. And then it's the last thing a CPU. Yeah, a CPU, that's gonna take multiple processors, I think, but we'll find out in a minute. Uh, pattern provider. Okay, there's our pattern provider. And a crafting CPU is going to take another one of these. Man, my frame rate is dropping big time. The mob trap That's is like totally fault. full. Okay, that part's not my fault. Did the reaction dynamos run out of gunpowder? Okay, there's the crafting CPU. Is that yeah, what happened? I threw, yeah, I filled them back up. That and I have like 10,000 chickens that I kind of <laughs> were sacrificing. Holy crap. That's a familiar sight. Okay, that completed digital storage. So we can claim our reward. It got us four ME interfaces, full heart, a yellow heart canister. Which I'm going to equip back on myself. What the hell are you doing? He's using a trophy to build him faster. I don't think that works. I think you have to use the sacrificial knife. <laughs> I already have the orb. Oh. I'm just cleaning up. Oh, you're just cleaning up the mess. Gotcha. Dick. Speaking of cleaning up the mess. What, are they not being killed in there or something? Not fast enough for my liking. Huh. I'm gonna let the rest. Ow! I'm going to let the rest of them die naturally. There's a zombie out. Not for long. He's done, though. Okay, and reward bag. Greater reward bag get. Uh, five more ender lily seeds. Which would be great if we weren't already swimming in the things. 
How's our reactor doing? But we got another yellow heart container. Hey, can I get my containers back, by the way? We're at 100% here. Um, the internal storage of this thing is full. So I'm going to throw off the throttle, as it were. Would you give me Kozak? I gave you three... no. Two and two? Two? It might have been three and two or two and two. There, I have thrown off the throttle and the laser drill is running full power again. We got some diamond ore, we got more yellow right ore, we got some nether sulfur Thank ore. That's nice. Okay, Dagger, what'd you give me for canisters? Because I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, damn it. We should all have the same amount. Uh, I'm at three and two. Here, toss all the toss. Everyone, toss all the canisters here, and I'll split them up. Oh, where'd you get the normal one? Okay, so there's well, there's only four. Okay. Um. <laughs> they do not want to leave Dragon, apparently. Yeah, apparently not. Okay, I only have one red heart canister. I was getting them. Okay, so everyone gets two green. Maybe we should move away from the vacuum hopper that's under the ground. Probably. So everyone had two green. There's the other green. Thank you. Everyone had three ah. yellow. Oh, that's interesting. What? Whoopsie. I just... Did it say I died? No. Because I just right-clicked with the blood orb and it said I died. Okay. It brought me to the death screen, but I, I think it's because I still had hearts that I sh wasn't technically supposed to have since I removed all the canisters. Yeah. You might need to relog. Wait, it I think we lost any lives. <clears throat> um. No, we're still at 123 lives. Yeah. No, I think it was just a glitch. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Um, even more storage. It wants us to make a 16 million storage. Holy fuck. Bitch, say what? The ME-16M storage requires a Terra storage cluster, which requires three Giga storage clusters, which require three Mega storage clusters, which require three Kilo storage clusters, which require three storage clusters, which require three storage blocks, which require three storage segments, which require three storage cells, which require four Certus Quartz each. If you weren't paying attention, that's seven iterations. Seven to the second is how many Certus Quartz that's going to take. Uh -huh. Or seven, or four to the seventh, rather. Or something like that. To, to the second. Yeah. Whatever the maths are. Quartz. No, we don't. Not yet. Uh -huh. I got a potion pack. Two potions of flight and uh, two splash potions of harming. Uh, so, yeah. Here, um, our right. energy buffer on this thing is totally full. And I really don't know how to drain any more power out because we're already taking everything it can possibly give. <sighs> The only other thing I could think of to do would be to put another power, another reactor power port on this thing, but I can't really see a point in that. Um, well, if the energy buffer is full, how much does it hold? The energy buffer holds yeah. 10 million. I just shut off the reactor. Um, we could, we could shut the reactor off. It's not like we lose anything other than. Heat. Well, it takes a it takes a few seconds to warm back up, but I mean it's not a big deal. 
we got 50 million in the energy cells. Although the top energy cell will drain very quickly because it's powering the thing over here. Um, I keep hoping that we'll get something really, really cool. Like... Like the nether uh, iridium. We got two diamond ore. Oh, whoopty fucking do. Yeah, I know. We haven't gotten any cobalt ore, have we? No, we haven't gotten any cobalt at all. I think maybe you can't. No, you can. I think it takes a... I think... Maybe blue? Yeah, it's a blue focus. We have a white and a yellow focus in there right now because I was worried about eulorium and sulfur and saltpeter and all that. Yeah, we're good on eulorium now. Yeah. Um, what was I going to ask? Um... I'm going to go check these trees. One of these days we'll get lucky and I'll get that blue mayho that I'm after. Yeah, then we just need to crossbreed it. No, we don't even need to crossbreed it. Well, it depends on what attribute you want on it. Well, the biggest one we're after is sappiness. Saplings? Um, um no. You know... Um, do I have any more grafters on me? I don't think so. What do you mean, sappiness? There's a trait on these trees called sappiness that determines how much biomass you get when you, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and Blue Maho the... has the highest natural sappiness. Yeah, however, the other side of that is that a purebred blue maho um, has a very, very low sapling drop. Yeah, so we might want to crossbreed it a little bit to see if we can increase the sapling like, drop. Oh, yeah. Crossbreed cross it with an apple oak. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> crossbreed it with an apple with oak. that one. Yeah, I mean, and, that, uh, that's easy enough. Drop rate and uh, apples. Well, we wouldn't even need the apples. Well, you never know. I mean, it's a nice bonus, but... Okay, dump all of my bees into this. Break the last two here. Shut up, you stupid cat! You're gonna end up Stop needing fighting. to bitch slap that thing. Yeah, well, I'm about done recording this episode anyway, so... And damn it, I punched that one out, so I didn't get the sapling drop. Damn it. Hey, knock it off. All right, peeps. Well, I'm going to call this episode here. Um, this has been Night Dagger with episode I can't even remember now. Of Agrarian Skies, the B episode for the most part. Um, I think what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to go ahead and get the Tropical Bee started. And see if I can get some Silk Wisps going. And that way we can start completing a few more bee quests. I think I'm also going to start doing a little bit of the genetic manipulation stuff off camera. Get everything set up and then I will show you guys what I did next episode. So I can walk you through it, walk you through, you know, the thought process behind it, how it all works. But, I mean, it, I'm going to want to tinker with it a little bit until I get the perfect setup. So I don't want to do all that on camera. I'll spend, like, probably the next hour or two trying to do it if I wanted to do everything on camera. And um, I have to go to work tomorrow, so. How many buckets of mob essence do you say we have? Um, I think a better question would be how many buckets of mob essence have we wasted because we didn't have a tank to hold it all. <laughs> um, I'm thinking we sh could probably just set up the tank to give uh, mob essence for this quest. The Yeah, the go with the flow one that requires how many buckets of mob essence? Uh, 160, I think. Yeah, that's that's nothing. 160 buckets of mob essence. We can probably do that like right now. Let's get a QDS and, Q the, and key that. We'll just pump it out now. We have quest delivery systems in here. We got a fluid duct.
We got a... We don't have a servo. Actually, we don't even need a servo. Let's make a tank. We'll just get ourselves a portable tank. We'll turn that into a hardened tank. We'll turn that into a reinforced tank. And I don't think we have any Endarium in here that has been cooked up. We got Endarium Blend, but no Pyrothium to cook it up with. This thing holds 32 buckets, though, so we fill this thing like three times and put it on the QDS queued to this thing, and we've completed the quest. Well, not three, I guess, but you know what I mean. Close enough uh, first of all, select this task and bind liquid mobs to the QDS. Pop this on here. We'll pull off 32 buckets. Damn. Put the thing on here. Uh, no. There we go. Set it to output. And if we watch this, this will start going up pretty fast. All right. I think we'll need to fill that like five or six times, actually. Something like that. I don't think we're really short, but we should probably start um, the automation for uh, getting milk. Yeah, we really we should. a lot of milk. Really? Me yelling moo reminded you of that? Yes. I'm influential! Yay! You're influenza. That's a hardened tank. That'll work. I'm making a second tank. So we can just swap them out. What I really need to get is mana beans at some point. Actually, I got a total of three now. I'm getting some weird display glitches. Your mom's getting display glitches. Whee! So I'm not having to jump. Okay, 63%. This is going to be another one of those long episodes because we just have to do this one more quest. What are you doing? I'm feeding mob essence into the QDS. So we can Whatever complete you... one of the go for the flow quests. Or go with the flow. Uh, it is at a ridiculously low incline. Um, bingo. Completed. Uh, then why did the box... Oh, because I wasn't the one doing it. So, we can claim a reward. This gets us two full hearts. And I'm going to take reward bag number three. Uh, I got only a greater. Except I got an the epic. One again. Damn it, I got a basic. Ha. Huh. My epic one was a pair of Invar shears. Really? 
Isn't that twice now? Purple stairs. I think it's actually like four for me. Um, I got the fishing rod one again. Nice. Which one? The deck cord? No. The the rod, the bunch of rods and bait. Pop. There we go. Which I suppose is good for mariculture. Yeah. All right, peeps. I'm gonna call this episode. This has been Night Dagger, Dragon, and Kozak with another episode of Agrarian Skies. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm gonna do some bee stuff off camera. Kozak's gonna dive a little more into mariculture. I Dragon might. will probably I have keep. No idea what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, you'll figure it out. Are you um. Sure? Yeah. And Dragon's probably going to work on Thomcraft if I know him. So hopefully when we come back next time, we should have some cool stuff to show you. Uh, we'll catch you later, peeps. Have a good one.